Buckle up, explorers. A thrilling journey around the world awaits us. We're about to embark on a whirlwind adventure, zipping from one continent to another, uncovering fun facts and fascinating insights about some of the most iconic places on Earth. From the towering Eiffel Tower in France to the majestic pyramids of Egypt, from the sprawling Great Wall of China to the picturesque Sydney Opera House in Australia, we're going to see it all. So hold on to your hats, adventurers, and get ready to discover fun facts about some amazing places. Our first stop is Paris, the City of Lights. This magical city is home to the Eiffel Tower, one of the most recognized landmarks in the world. But did you know the Eiffel Tower has a bit of a growth spurt when the weather gets hot? That's right. Due to the expansion of iron in the heat, the Eiffel Tower can grow up to 15 centimeters taller in the summer. Imagine that. This iconic structure, standing tall at over 300 meters, is not just a sight to behold, but it's also a wonderful example of how materials can change with the weather. And that's just one of the many fascinating things about this city. With its rich history, stunning architecture and delicious cuisine, Paris truly is a city that lights up our world. Au revoir, Paris! Off to the next exciting location. Welcome to Egypt, the land of pharaohs. Have you ever heard of the Pyramids of Giza? These architectural marvels have been standing tall for over four and a half thousand years. That's older than your grandparents and even your great, great, great grandparents. Can you imagine that? Did you know that the Great Pyramid of Giza was the tallest man-made structure in the world for more than 38 centuries? That's until Lincoln Cathedral in England took its place in the 14th century. And here's another fun fact. The Great Pyramid was built using more than two million stone blocks, each weighing an average of two and a half tons. It's not just the pyramids that are fascinating. Egypt was also home to one of the earliest civilizations in the world, with a history that dates back to 6,000 years ago. Now that's a lot of history. Farewell, Egypt. Shall we continue our journey? Next is China, the Dragonland. Here in the heart of Asia, we find a country steeped in history and culture. If there's one symbol that represents China's might and spirit, it's the Great Wall. Constructed over 2,000 years ago, this awe-inspiring structure stretches more than 13,000 miles. That's longer than the entire length of Africa, but did you know that it's not just one wall, but a network of many walls? Yes, indeed. Ancient Chinese dynasties built separate walls for their kingdoms. It was Emperor Qin Shi Huang who decided to connect them all, creating the Great Wall we know today. And here's something fun. The Great Wall isn't just famous on Earth. It's got a reputation beyond our planet, too. Contrary to popular belief, it's not visible from space with the naked eye. But with aid, astronauts can indeed spot this wonder. Goodbye, China. Where to next, you ask? Let's find out. G'day, mates. We're in Australia now. Welcome to the land down under, where kangaroos hop, koalas climb, and the Sydney Opera House shines. Speaking of the Sydney Opera House, it's not just a stunning spectacle, but it's also a marvel of modern architecture. You might be wondering why it looks like a ship with billowing sails. Well, that's because its design was inspired by nature, particularly by the image of peeling an orange. Can you believe it? But that's not all. This iconic building's roof is a mosaic of over one million tiles. Yes, you heard that right, over one million. And they're not just any tiles, but custom made ones from Sweden. They shimmer in the sun, giving the Opera House its distinct gleaming appearance. And here's a fun fact. Every year, the Opera House hosts over 2,000 performances. That's almost six shows every day. Bye, Australia. Ready for the next adventure? Hola, now we're in Brazil, the Samba Nation. This vibrant country is not only famous for its lively festivals and football passion, but also for an iconic monument, the Christ the Redeemer statue. Towering over the city of Rio de Janeiro, this colossal statue stands 98 feet tall, not including its pedestal that adds another 26 feet. Its arms stretch out to a whopping 92 feet wide, embodying a warm welcome to all. Constructed over a span of nine years, it was completed in 1931, and has been watching over Brazil ever since. Made mostly of concrete and soapstone, it's a symbol of Christianity across the world and is listed as one of the new seven wonders of the world. Isn't that amazing? But now it's time to say, ciao Brazil, let's keep moving. Konnichiwa, welcome to Japan, the land of the rising sun. We're now standing in the shadow of the majestic Mount Fuji, one of the most iconic symbols of Japan. 
Did you know that this awe-inspiring mountain is actually an active volcano? Yes, indeed. But don't worry, it's been pretty quiet for over 300 years now. Mount Fuji, or Fujisan as the locals affectionately call it, towers at a height of over 12,000 feet, making it Japan's tallest peak. Incredibly, despite its height, it can be climbed. In fact, every year, thousands of people make the journey to its summit. And guess what? If you reach the top, you might even be able to catch a glimpse of the sun rising, an experience that's said to be absolutely breathtaking. Sayonara, Japan! We're off to another exciting place. Hello from the USA, the land of freedom. Here's a fun fact to kick things off. The USA is known as the land of freedom because it was founded on principles of individual liberty and the pursuit of happiness. And speaking of liberty, let's talk about one of its most iconic symbols, the Statue of Liberty. Did you know that this copper lady was a gift from France to the United States? That's right, she was shipped across the Atlantic in 350 pieces. Imagine having to put that jigsaw puzzle together. And here's another fun fact. The seven spikes on her crown represent the seven oceans and the seven continents of the world, symbolizing universal liberty. So, not only is she a symbol of freedom, but she's also a symbol of unity. Goodbye, USA, let's fly to our next destination. Namaste, welcome to India, the land of diversity. From the snow-capped peaks of the Himalayas to the sun-kissed beaches of Goa, India paints a vibrant tapestry of cultures, languages and landscapes. But no journey to India would be complete without a visit to the iconic Taj Mahal. This ivory-white marble mausoleum, nestled on the banks of the river Yamuna, is a testament to a timeless love story between Emperor Shah Jahan and his wife Mumtaz Mahal. But did you know? It took a whopping 22 years and over 20,000 workers to bring this architectural marvel to life and the intricate designs that adorn the Taj. They're not painted, but meticulously crafted inlays of semi-precious stones. Quite the labor of love, wouldn't you say? So, next time you think of grand gestures, remember the Taj Mahal, a symphony in marble that took love and dedication to a whole new level. Alvida, India, one last stop to go. Brrr! We're in Antarctica, the frozen continent. A place so chilly it makes your freezer look like a summer vacation. But don't let the cold fool you, because this icy wonderland is brimming with life and fascinating facts. Let's talk about the real locals here, the emperor penguins. These regal birds are the tallest and heaviest of all penguin species, standing almost four feet tall and weighing up to 90 pounds. Now that's a lot of penguin, but their most impressive feat? Their diving ability! Emperor penguins can dive up to 1,850 feet deep. That's about the height of five and a half Statue of Liberties stacked on top of each other. They hold their breath for up to 20 minutes while hunting for fish and squid. And just like that, our brisk visit to the bottom of the world has come to an end. Goodbye, Antarctica. We've completed our journey. We're back where we started after a thrilling journey. We've hopped from the twinkling lights of Paris to the ancient pyramids of Egypt, strolled along the vast Great Wall of China, admired the Sydney Opera House's unique design, and marveled at Brazil's towering Christ the Redeemer. We've climbed Japan's active Mount Fuji, saluted the Statue of Liberty in the USA, soaked in the beauty of India's Taj Mahal, and braved the icy winds of Antarctica. Thanks for traveling with us. Don't forget to tell us your favorite place in the comments below.